Hey there, welcome back. So this lesson is going to be very quick. We're just talking about two tags, the div tag and the span tag. And we really can't talk about much as far as what they do and how we use them until we get to CSS where we can style things. But I just want to introduce them now because I'm going to show you things using divs and spans in the next few videos. And I didn't do a great job actually of explaining it in the first draft of this course. So I, I went back and added this in um, after the fact, after the course was published. I saw a few questions that I noticed maybe I could clear up uh, if I just did a better job explaining divs earlier on. Okay, so let's get started talking about divs and spans. The first thing I'll say is that both of them, as I mentioned, are not that useful until we actually get to styling elements. But what they do is they allow you to group content together. So a div, according to MDN, is just a generic container. So it's just a, it's a way of grouping things together. As an example, I'm not saying that this is a div right here, but this could be a div. Just a box around some content. It looks like some text here, some images, and some more text. To group that all together and give it a big border, or give it a, a background, excuse me, you could do that with a div. Again, we haven't talked about how you do that just yet. But the idea is that you can just group things together. So you'll be seeing me use divs a lot in this course going forward. Let me just show you a quick example. So if I add some text here, and this is actually something that uh, one of the students in this course pointed out in the discussion forum that I didn't know about, which is nice. If you just type lorem and hit tab, it will give us lorem ipsum. Uh, basically just a bunch of sample text, placeholder text. So I'm going to use this, make two of those, and then also I'll add in um, an H1. And let's say that this H1, it doesn't really matter, I'll just put anything there. But let's say that this is a paragraph, and I want to group these two things together, the H1 and the paragraph. Let's say eventually, again, we can't do it now, but eventually I want to have a box around these, a border, an orange border, but it doesn't include this one. What I can do is just group them together in a div tag. So div, and save. And if I refresh the page, or actually open it in the first place, it's not going to look different at all. It's not going to look like anything, actually, because there is no styling for us to see. All that's happened is that these two things are now grouped in a container, just a generic box, a container to, to hold them together that we can then go style later. So if I gave that div a background, if I made it have a yellow background, that yellow background would go roughly around this, but it wouldn't include any of this second paragraph. So that's a div. A span, on the other hand, is also a generic container, but there's a key difference. So let me uh, start with an example here. Let's say I wanted to highlight some of th these words right here. Ipsum, dollar, whatever, whatever. I want to make this yellow rather than black. So the rest of the text is black, but I want to highlight this as yellow and make the font bigger or something. Again, we don't know how to do that yet. But the idea is I would need a tag around this. And if I put a div right there, which is a generic container, oops, and I save and refresh, you'll see that it gets knocked on to a new line. And that's because a div is a block level element. So that means that it takes up its own line, just like a paragraph does. When you add a paragraph in, everything after that paragraph is pushed down to a new line. So a div is a block level generic container. If I replace this with a span, this is not going to be impressive at all because you're not going to see anything really. You will see a change here, but it will just look like a regular paragraph. So I'm going to refresh. And there's a container now. There's a generic span around this content that's not doing anything. Unlike a div, though, it's an inline container. So span is for basically grouping content, selecting content in line. And a div is another way of grouping content, but it's a block level element. So I know this is a little bit theoretical at this point, or it's kind of hard to, to understand the utility of. But very soon when we get into CSS, we'll be able to say something like, go find that span I added in and make it 15 point font and yellow. 
or go find that div I added in and give it a, an orange border or whatever we do and then we end up with an orange border around this content. All right, great. Divs, spans, generic containers, one is block, one is inline.